This is a video demonstration on Vitria's multi-chamber functional analysis application. Single left mouse click in your study list to select your patient. Below the patient list is a list of the applications that are available. Single left mouse click on the multi-chamber functional analysis. Below the application are a list of the series. In my case, I have a reconstruction from 0 to 90%. Once your phases are selected, left mouse click open, and this will launch your multi-chamber application. This application will allow us to get the ejection fraction for the left ventricle, the right ventricle, and the left atrium, and the volumes as well. As it does the segmentation, you may notice a progress bar on the bottom right indicating that the segmentation is taking place. This can take up to a minute. When the segmentation is complete, you will see them listed in the anatomy section. We have the right ventricle, the left atrium, the heart, the left ventricle, and the left myocardium. Below that is our cardiac analysis section where we have um, our editing tools along with our volume graft. Our volume graft does have the different phases along the bottom. And you will notice that Vitri does choose the end systolic and the end diastolic phase. The first editing tool is automatically activated. This is for our LV axis. If you notice in the first two viewports, we do have an eye bar that is displayed over the left ventricle. This is, allows us to make any changes for the apex or the base of the left ventricle. Again, this only needs to be done in the end systolic and end diastolic phase. The bottom of the bar, left mouse and drag, should be at the bottom of the myocardium. The top of the bar, should be at the mitral valve plane. As you are moving these locations, you can look at the short axis stack to verify placement. You also have the option to hold your left mouse down and move this eye bar to the middle of the left ventricle. And also with your left mouse, you can reposition the eye bar. Once this has been corrected or any adjustments made, over on the left-hand side, you will have to click the Compute button to recalculate the volume in that phase. Once you have calculated the volume, then you would do the same for the end systolic phase. Left mouse click to choose the phase. Check your eye bar. Make any adjustments to the top and bottom as needed. And come back over to the left-hand side to hit Compute. Once the LV axis has been adjusted in both the end systolic and end diastolic phase, we also would like to edit the contours. You have a couple ways to do that. One is to select this editing tool under cardiac analysis, or you can select the area to evaluate from your anatomy section and hit edit up here as well. Once you select edit in either one of these locations, you will get an edit LV pop-up bar and you will notice that your mouse has turned to a pencil. You can make your edits in any viewport. I am going to choose my short axis stack. Using uh, the magnifying glass for my main toolbar, I'm going to select that with my left mouse just to enlarge my images uh, just a little bit to make it a little bit easier for the editing. As I use my middle mouse to scroll, left mouse and hold down to make any edits 
to the contours as I see fit. Once your edits are complete, come up to that pop-up box and hit apply. Remember, we want to make these changes in both the end systolic and the end diastolic phase as well. You also can double click on the image to enlarge it to a one on one for easier editing. You will notice that Vitria does segment out the papillary muscles. Once you have completed your edits, you hit apply. And I'm going to double click to go back down to my four on one. We will continue to make edits. I'm going to select RV. And when I select edit, you'll see there will be a pop-up box. And you'll see I do have my red outline on my RV. You will do this again on the end systolic and end diastolic phase only. Middle mouse to scroll. Hold your left mouse down to make any edits. When you are finished with your edits, select apply and then go back to your end systolic phase to make those changes. To make edit for your left atrium, select the left atrium and I am going to turn this on so I can see it on my graft as well. Select Edit, and you'll notice your left atrium now has the contours to be edited. Left mouse to draw to make any edits. As needed. And then hit Apply. If you notice over on the graft, in addition to the end systolic and end diastolic phase, for the left atrium, we have what we call a max phase as well. It is recommended in addition to making edits for the left atrium in the end systolic and end diastolic phase that you also check your edit contours for the max phase as well. Once your contours have been um, checked and verified, you can save a picture of this volume graph by clicking on the arrow above the graph to take a snapshot of that graph or copy the graph to your clipboard. Below the graph, you have the options to put in the patient's height and weight. In this patient, I'm going to put 6 feet 2 inches. And I am going to uh, select 215 pounds. This will allow us to index our results. The heart rate was brought over from the scanner and the DICOM results. The ejection fraction in your volumes, your stroke volumes, are located in the table down here, the bottom of the column. There is an arrow pointing to the right. By selecting this arrow, it will put the results over into our active viewport. By selecting the drop down arrow next to more results, you will see the body surface area has been calculated based on the height and the weight of the patient, along with displaying the myocardial mass and the LVRV regurgitation fraction, which displays the difference of percent between the left and right ventricle. To index the result based on surface area, there is a button in this results called index. 
and then we can now see our images are indexed. You can snap a picture of this by coming up to your main toolbar and clicking on the camera. This will save the entire page with the results as well. By clicking on the X, it will put the results back over onto the left hand side of the page. You also have some options to save as a cine and to watch the images play. You'll notice there is a play button in every viewport along with being in the main toolbar as well. By selecting the play button you can see that in all three cardiac views and the 3D image is playing a cine loop. Below the play button is a speed button if you want to slow it down or if you would like to turn off the 3D. I am going to hit pause. If you would like to save this as a batched cine, whichever viewport you would like to batch, double click to make it a one on one. And then on your right click menu, we do have batch 4D cine. The preview is very quick, but at the top. If you would like to batch the two chamber and short axis, come to the top of this viewport and select the rotate NPR button. This now takes us to our short axis view where I can do a right mouse click and batch that as well. And one more click on the rotate MR NPR button for my two chamber view to right mouse click to batch our 4D cine. These results are saved in the results tab on our study list and we'll review that in just a moment. I also would like to show you in addition to the information we have obtained on the left hand side we do generate a report at the top right if you left mouse click on report editor it does open a third tab and you can see that this is a full report that does have all the information listed, the left ventricle, the right ventricle, the left atrium. It also gives you the myocardial mass along with the volume chart and a bullseye um, display of the wall motion. Below the page, if you hit publish, this will save a copy of this report into the results tab as well so this can be sent to PACS. When you're finished with the report you can close the report editor and I am going to double click to go back down to my 401 view. I do like to point out on the left hand side at the top we do have a couple different layouts. We are currently on the cardiac four up but you can see that we can also display this where we see a few more short axis stacks. This particular one will show you that wall motion that's on the report. Going back to the four on one, I'm going to come down into my 3D image and I'm going to double click. This image can also be saved as a batch. But if I come over here to my left hand side, I can deselect the heart if I just want to see the three chambers. And above the anatomy section, you can see there are a couple different ways to view your 3D just by simply left mouse and selection. This is our global illumination rendering. I'm going to double click. One last thing I did want to show you is a left myocardium. If I hit a tint, you can see that it does tint the myocardium. And if you did need to make any changes to this, you could hit the edit button as well and make any changes to the myocardium.
contours as well and apply those changes. When you're finished, you can close the application by clicking on the X. All the results and all the batches are saved underneath the results file. To view these results as images, bringing your mouse over to the right hand side, you can select on images and you can see our Cine images, our report, and our graph. Single click to highlight to send uh, to packs by holding the control. You can select multiple series to send to packs. Once they're selected, you do a right mouse click to open your export page. There is a, your destination uh, will be listed here. And you can select export and it will send those images to packs. This concludes the video for multi-chamber functional analysis within the Vitria.